We approach it from the patient perspective, and that is one patient with two diseases. And rather than to divide the care, we are trying to uh, integrate the care for the, each patient. Um, so we, we know in the Pacific that diabetes and TB is a, a global problem. But for us, we see it as a local problem because our patients, sometimes up to, uh, up to 60% of our adult TB patients, if they're Pacific Islanders, uh, also have diabetes. So it's not uh, a situation where the minority of patients might have diabetes, but it's actually the majority of patients with active TB also have diabetes. So that does not give us the luxury of building a special program. It means we have to integrate uh, with diabetes for most of our uh, TB cases, yes. So to do that, we have, uh, you know, in, in tuberculosis, we'd like to have standards, right? We have, a, sometimes it's a cookbook approach to curing TB. DOTS is very much a cookbook approach. And uh, for us, we created some standards for TB and diabetes separate from regular TB patients. And that included good bidirectional screening, so every TB case who is an adult uh, gets, a, gets a, a blood glucose or an A1C. And we found as soon as we did that, our numbers of TB patients with diabetes went very high because we're, we're properly diagnosing them. The, the second uh, job that we do is to try to get into the diabetes clinic and check for TB. Now that we do that for two reasons. One is to try to find cases of TB that are in diabetes clinic, maybe in the lobby coughing, waiting for their appointment. That's not a good place for someone with active disease. But also it's an opportunity for prevention and for uh, people with diabetes that uh, are high risk doing uh, a test for latent TB, whether that's a skin test or an IGRA, and then giving them preventive medicine.